Hey guys, currently in Starbucks and uh, just wanted to give you a little message. You see, everyone wants to be on video camera. No, they don't. Um, anyways, just getting ready to do my 2017 strategy and a goal that I have for next year is to actually do it way sooner. So part of a challenge I've experienced being a small entrepreneur, um, it's me and I have two internal people that work behind the scenes and then eight teachers at my yoga studio. And one of the challenges that I have still have yet to master is preparing sooner. And it's actually one of my musts going into 2017. I feel like 2016 was a year, like I've been at this long enough, like, you know, for the last six years and making a ton of learning lessons. I don't believe in the word mistakes. Mistakes is bullshit. Mistakes is a word that I think like as a collective consciousness we use to actually keep ourselves paralyzed by not moving ahead in life. There's no mistake. Um, but it's a learning lesson if you learn and you apply it. Um, and definitely one of the learning lessons that I hear. I have my YouTube video running actually in the background and that doesn't work, so it's distracting me. Um, and one of the learning lessons that I have is planning ahead. It's definitely something that I have seen my business um, definitely suffer from. Um, not suffer, but you know, it hasn't benefited my business, my, my lack of planning ahead. It's definitely not one of my strong suits. And um, so I know that with one of the strengths of being a small business is I can move fast and things can get done fast. And so there's not a lot of people and red tape to go through, right? So with that said, getting 2017 strategy in place, and this is going to be a really big, exciting year. So um, those of you that are, you know, still, you know, you know, small, small entrepreneurs, I, I don't really know what that means, but I definitely know what it doesn't mean. <laughs> Probably doesn't mean that you're doing 100 million in revenue, right? Um, and those of you that are just starting out, one of the tips that I have for you is to plan ahead. I used to resist planning. I used to associate so much negativity with planning and structure, you know, being a feminine entrepreneur, being someone who likes to flow and feel juicy and sexy during the workday, which I know you'd probably never hear a man say that who's from the business. But I'm a, I'm a female, I, I do, right? Those things are important to me. I definitely lacked structure. I've, I've lacked desiring structure until I realized that it was the thing that was actually going to lead me to the freedom and the flow and the connection and the femininity I was longing for. So gals listening to this, although certainly you can be a man listening to this, gals listening to this, just I can't emphasize structure, 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 planning, planning, planning. Flexible planning, right? Like so for instance for me what I'm gonna do is get my strategy for twenty seventeen. I really have given birth this really amazing huge idea that was inspired by one of um, my virtual mentors, as I like to say, and like he was doing this fabulous YouTube and just, I heard it, right, I heard it, and I was like, oh my god, it's I'm going to do for 2017 for all my businesses, and um, so, you know, here I am coming up with a plan, but also, if for some reason during the year, I authentically am like, this doesn't serve, it's not serving my businesses anymore, it's not serving my audience, it's not serving me, then I'm going to shift it, so, you know, I think sometimes the structure we resist it because we think like it's going to lock us into place. No, you're allowed to change your mind. But also structure, if you're into freedom, structure needs to be your new best friend. Because those of you that are on the path of, you know, I'm an entrepreneur because I love freedom or I love the freedom of my day, I don't want to be on a strict nine to five. Structure doesn't mean that you're a dead, disconnected robot that's following someone else's plan. Structure means that you have a plan, you're able to execute ahead of time, you're able to produce and create maximum results for yourself, and you know the time that you can take off because you know where your business is going to be at. And I actually learned that the hard way um, this year, and I'll share that story with you guys later, but this video is all about, you know, get your 2017 game going, you know, or if you hear this at a different time of the year, it doesn't matter, like get your game going, get your forward plan going, and then put it into execution, get a structure for it, because that structure will create freedom for you, okay? So, I will be, you know, of course, dropping some knowledge in other videos, but this is good. So, love you guys, and then get back to work.